Let's take a look at a few methods for doing voice over slide presentations. Hey, I'm Greg from Thinkific and we're going to take a look at a few methods here of doing voice over top of slideshows or slide presentations. Now, this applies whether they're in Keynote or PowerPoint or even Prezi or other slideshow tools. Before we dive into the specific solutions, I just want to say a couple of words about doing this. Now, voice over slides can be a great way of teaching or creating courses or demonstration videos to put out there and share with your audience, but let's not make them painful. So avoid too much text. And by when I say avoid too much text, I mean three to five words per slide is probably ideal. If you're gonna go bullet points, no more than three bullet points with three words per bullet. Anything more than that and you're really pushing it. Essentially what happens when you show text on a slide while you're talking is people's brains implode and they don't absorb anything that you're saying because they're trying to read while listening and they really just don't get as much as if you were just talking or they were reading. So a lot less on the text. If you wanna use images, great. People can look at a picture of a puppy while you talk about puppies, but don't write a paragraph about puppies and then read it out to them, or even worse, have a paragraph about puppies and then be saying other words that kind of relate to that. Okay, let's dive in and take a look at some tools that you can use to add voice over top of your slides. Hey everyone, Tia here from Thinkific. As Greg mentioned, adding presentation slides with voiceover can be a powerful way to teach your material by appealing to both visual and auditory learners. I'm going to quickly run you through our built-in feature, then give you an overview of some other tools you can explore if you're looking to do a bit more. So the first step we're going to take is to prepare our presentation for upload. Whether you're in PowerPoint or Keynote, when you save your file, make sure you're exporting it to PDF. Now, we'll upload our presentation slides straight into our course material. So, from your course dashboard, find the chapter where you want to add your slides and click Add Content. Look for the presentation option right here, and this is where we'll upload our file. You can either drag and drop your PDF or browse your folders to find it. Make sure you keep your presentation file size to 20 slides, which we call pages here, or less. Rename your presentation content since this is what will be appearing to your students in the course contents menu. Once your PDF is loaded, you'll see the option to edit each page. Choose the option and you'll be taken to the first slide. Or you can begin recording audio directly in Thinkific. Click record audio to launch the presentation recorder. Now you can add your beautiful voiceover to your presentation. When your students are going through the material, the audio will automatically play within the slides. And don't worry, you can re-record later on if you slip up or aren't happy with it the first time. When you're done editing, don't forget to hit done editing and then save changes button so everything gets updated. And that's it. This feature is super handy whenever you're looking to get a new or existing presentation up quickly and easily. You can see the presentation on the left hand side when you're previewing as a student. If you're planning to use voiceover slides heavily, you may want to consider a few other options that will give you more options and flexibility when it comes to editing. If you have longer presentations or plan to make changes frequently, I have a few suggestions for you. ScreenFlow is a fairly robust solution for Mac users that can help you create professional looking screencasts. With ScreenFlow, you're able to record any part of your monitor while also capturing your video camera and multiple audio devices. It also allows you to creatively edit and export your video and add additional images, text, music, animations, and transitions. ScreenFlow costs about $99 US. Camtasia Studio and Camtasia for Mac are other popular options. Use Camtasia to record on-screen activity, customize and edit content, add interactive elements or import media, and easily share your videos. Camtasia Studio is $299 for PC, and Camtasia for Mac is $99. There are also educational and government pricing reductions if you're able to qualify there. Both ScreenFlow and Camtasia both offer bulk discounting as well if you're purchasing for a team. 
One low-cost solution we found is Screencast-O-Matic, which is essentially just fast screen recording. There are free and pro versions. The paid version gives you a few more functions like no watermark, um, the ability to make longer recordings, the ability to record computer audio and windows, and various other editing and publishing tools. Finally, QuickTime is a free option if you're still not quite at a high enough volume to justify spending on a tool just yet. Just use File and New Screen Recording to get started when you have your QuickTime player launched. I hope these tips have been useful. If you find yourself getting stuck at all when giving it a shot, take a look at help.thinkific.com for a full set of instructions, or we're always available to give you a hand via phone or email. Just get in touch. If you're looking for some more helpful information about online courses or teaching online, you can subscribe to our channel, you can check out our blog, blog.thinkific.com, or if you want to create your own online courses or try out that cool trick that makes it really easy and free to add voice over top of your slide presentations, you can sign up for our forever free plan at thinkific.com and create your own online course and add voice over slides today very easily. Thank you.